Hey guys, welcome back to Boardwatch. I'm Brian. Justin. And we're going to be watching Dark Season 2, Episode 3 right now. Sorry, again, no Lisa. She'll probably be here next time. Uh, we're just we're going to film two back-to-back. -back. She's time traveling right yes, now. Yes, uh, so She'll she actually will be in this episode. You just got... The time hasn't caught up yet or whatever. So, yeah, uh, we just finished our discussion. Everything's nice and fresh, so I think we can just get right into Episode 3. Los Gates. Los Gates. Die Zeit ist immer mit dir. Egal, wo du gehst. Du trägst sie in dir und sie trägt dich. Sie sieht und hört alles, was du tust oder sprichst. Tick. Tag. What if everybody in the town is just a descendant of Ulrich? <laughs> like, Ulrich is actually just like the top of the list. Everybody else is like... Well, what about, what about, what about Tranta? Tranta is also leading to Ulrich. So Ulrich is his own? Ulrich, Ulrich, and then Tranta is somehow his, his great, 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 great. Haven't seen the lesbians yet. True. Or her. Cause she's hot. Agnes. <laughs> yeah. Is that why his kid's name is Magnus? Agnes Nielsen, Magnus Nielsen. <laughs> <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Oh is she? Kids are weird. Hey, you know Tronto and Claudia had a thing in '86. It's true, but was this pulling a Louis C.K. <laughs> no, she said she show me, show me yours. I show you. It was, it was like a show, you show me yours, I'll show you mine kind of thing. I think. Curious kids. Such a trip. <laughs> they don't call me Blows Hover or the Browners. Sie haben dieses Buch geschrieben. Ich habe mich gefragt, wann es soweit ist. Wann wir uns wieder sehen. Der weiße Teufel. Wissen Sie, wer das ist? Wo ist er verwirrter als ich? Warum haben Sie uns nie gesagt, wie Sie heißen? Wer Sie sind? Ulrich. Ulrich Nielsen. Und ich komme aus der Zukunft. <lacht> In einem Bootstrap-Paradox wird ein Gegenstand oder eine Information aus der Zukunft in die Vergangenheit geschickt. Dadurch entsteht ein unendlicher Kreislauf, in welchem der Gegenstand keinen wirklichen Ursprung mehr hat. Er existiert. 
ohne je erschaffen worden zu sein. Das ist alles eine Frage des Ursprungs. Wo ist der Anfang? Wann ist der Anfang? Gibt es überhaupt einen Anfang? Ich werde vorher von solchen Paradoxen. Wir entschließen uns nur die Kennen Sie diesen Jungen? Er ist hier. Wo ist er? Du hast es gewusst, dass er hier ist. Du hast es die ganze Zeit gewusst. Wo ist er? Wo ist er? Weißt du, es ist noch nicht fertig. Das Ganze braucht noch 33 Jahre, bis es soweit ist. Dieses Ding, dieser, der Bauplan, ich verstehe nicht ganz, was es ist. Das habe ich schon mal gesehen. Unser Leben lang fragen wir uns, wohin unsere Reise geht. Das hier ist Ihre. Sie können es bald nicht, brauche es nicht mehr. Warum geben Sie mir das? Ich werde bald tot sein. Ich weiß, dass ich sterben werde. Aber werde ich die Sympathie verlieren? Oder ist das hier? Unser Treffen, du und deine Waffe. Nur ein Teil eines Spiels, von dem du immer noch nicht weißt, wie man es spielt. Du glaubst, du kannst mich mit deinen Worten manipulieren? Ich bin keiner deiner Bauern mehr. Aber Adams bist du noch. Das Paradies, das er dir verspricht, ist nichts als eine Lüge. Shut 
Vater. Das ist nicht... Nein, das stimmt aber nicht. Das ist nicht wahr. Wir können unseren Familien noch so fremd sein. Ihr Handeln nicht verstehen. Am Ende würden wir doch alles für sie tun. Ein roter Faden, der all unsere Leben miteinander verbindet. Hatte sie die Seiten dabei? Sie hat bekommen, was sie verdient hat. Am Ende bekommen wir alle, was wir verdient haben. Okay. okay. More thoughts? Uh, scratch Jonas. Even even Adam, Adam and Noah playing checkers. They are playing well, checkers. Although Noah did just lie to Adam at the end there. He's like, did she have the pages on her? And he's like, <laughs> yes, I think this is part of the game. She's trying to turn him into a Okay. Which whatever he saw. Um, I think Claudia. So if we're going with that theory, uh, what's the family tree look like? <laughs> so okay. you got Agnes Nielsen, who is the mother of Chandra. I don't think that's Chandra's real mom. The brother, who is the sister of Noah. And you're saying... I don't, I don't think that's Chandra's real mom. Okay. Because Chandra said he was in the world. Possibly maybe he was dropped off there. Possibly he's he's right there and he just ended up in the because of all this mess. So we'll start with the like people that are in fifty three. So you've got Agnes and Noah. Agnes and Noah brothers. Noah you're saying is going down the Doppler side of the family? No. Because well, because Charlotte Doppler. Charlotte well, Charlotte, is not Charlotte a Doppler. Well Char Charlotte Mary. Charlotte, is, Charlotte is a is a Noah. Whatever right. <laughs> a Nielsen, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Nielsen. So Charlotte is a Nielsen. Okay. Um, it remains to be seen if she is actually blood related to Ulrich and Tronto. Okay. So, because if, if Charlotte. By that, Tronto would be her cousin. Okay. If Charlotte is a Nielsen, then three of the four families would have Nielsen blood. Yes. Because the Convalts are based off of Mikkel Nielsen. Uh, you're saying Charlotte would, like, eventually the Dopplers would get me to go through Charlotte. So, still nothing with the Tiedemans. Tiedemans are just the ones that hate the Nielsen's. <laughs> well, you know, there's always the Lannisters to go along with the Starks. Uh, I, I did like that they had, like, three scenes in a row with the same two people, but not at, at the same time. It was Claudia and Egon 
started with like old Claudia and young, like you know, mm -hmm. middle younger Egon. You know, and she's like, "You're too good uh, for this world," and da 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 da. And then it two jumps people. forward to 1986 with Claudia and Egon, um, and and then you got young Claudia, young, and like and young, young kid Egon. Claudia and young Egon, kid and she Claudia. says the exact same thing that she yeah. will say in 66 years, or 66 years older Claudia says. So. That was fun little uh, weaving in there. That was that was very cool. <laughs> yeah, they, I didn't they, even think about that until you said. That oh, is three, three, three scenes in a row. Same, same, same two people. Same two people. But yeah, they really thought this show through. Yeah. <laughs> and like the, the more and more like things start to unravel, you're just like, holy shit. Uh, it remains to be seen if he's caught on to his wife's hair. Or he's at the very least suspicious, but we don't know. He, he was asking Doppler, uh, uh, or, yeah, Baron. I think the other guy. No, 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 not Baron. He was asking the other police officer. He's just like, does your wife still sleep with you? What's it mean if your wife will touch you? So, obviously, she's getting up from somewhere else and not be done. Well, we're already, they're always getting up. Everyone's oh, nobody goes back, cold turkey. Back so, to what you said in season one, episode one. Everybody's fucking everybody. Everybody <laughs> is fucking everybody. Yeah. Did any of your questions get answered this episode? Uh, so you th do you think Noah is less, uh, like, was being played all along this time? Because now it seems well, like... Well, I, I told you, uh, I, I always thought Noah was a, a one to be met at him. The way they were interacting, it always felt like Noah was a little shaky. But you said he was trying to go against what Adam was doing, which he's still doing now. Not necessarily full blown against, but he has now his own agenda. Like that is it's clear cut he has his own agenda. Yes. Whereas earlier it was just like maybe he has his own agenda, but now it's just like I think perhaps his doubts are related to the fact that perhaps Charlotte dies in this conflict. Okay. And that's his thought. Because now they kind of made him a little bit more of a human. He's been so kind of insulted for the first time we ever seen. That is definitely Claudia. And Claudia is a perfect. Um, older Egon talking with older Ulrich uh, and showing him the picture of Mikkel. Being like, ah, oh, you knew about this all along? But really, Mikkel's only been there since November. Yeah. You know what I mean? Older. Well, well yes. yes. Well, that was the one time that Egon actually had the upper hand on him. <laughs> Where the endless battle of Egon. All right, now the power shifted back. Is is Egon winning now? <laughs> Who's winning the yeah, Egon? He's got prostate battle? cancer. It's spreading. Place your bets. Who's coming out on top? Who gets the last laugh? <laughs> Egon or <laughs> Hannah? <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, 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 Hannah. Always. Right now, Ulrich is in the same time as Mikkel. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's in an insane asylum. Uh, old Claudia is dead. Yes. So, but she's in the And she was very accepting of it because she says, all of this will come to an end, but every up, up until that point, everything needs to happen. The way it is. Yes. Yeah, we've only got five episodes left until you're all caught up. Uh, obviously, this entire season. Oh, she that. handed her. She's instructed Agnes to get her the newspaper clipping so that right. she knows the exact page. Uh, she didn't say which version. She, yeah. she said, "Give this to me." So you just know that. I'm guessing she's gonna give it to Mike and Claudia. Fairly sure she's not gonna give it to. Kid Speaking of, where's 1986 Claudia going? She no, she's in the future. So, well, not the future. Well, yeah. <laughs> there's no longer anything except the past. Like time is just an illusion. I'm with Claudia. Like I'm like, Shit. yeah. Cause this we're is just gonna refer to it as year. Like she's in the year 2019 yeah. by our standards. Right. There's really no such thing as years anymore. But <laughs> sure. Yeah. So we've got. Or actually, I think it's 2020 now. Yeah. 
Oh, it is. Yeah, it's 2020. Last season was took place mostly in November. Uh, this season is like the next June, so everything is one year up. So instead of 53, it's 54. Instead of 86, it's 87. This is a special treatment to how I met your mother. Because the last season where I met your mother took place over three days. This whole show is taking place over like two days, but it makes perfect <laughs> sense. Doesn't make perfect sense. Really, uh, and only like two days. They're just like leaning into the paradox too. They even like call themselves out. They're like, "Yeah, this is a bootstrap paradox." I never wrote this book. Uh, I just was given to it, given it, and uh, so. Well, yeah, and uh, when was its origin? Time is like an illusion in this series, and like you can't really know like is is there really a beginning? Who wrote the book? Who, book? who wrote A Journey Through Time originally? Because he just keeps on giving it to her. Uh, Claudia keeps it's on giving it to her. Paradox. Yeah. So, there's this leaning into it and calling it out by name so that people can't be like, ah, ah, that's a paradox. And they're like, yeah, we know. Where do you think the rest of this season is going to go? And what do you think will still be with uh, What questions do you still think will still remain uh, at the end of the season? Um, I don't think we're going to give people time. Okay. We're gonna end right before it. We might have a better idea of what Adam is hoping to get out of it. Okay. What the purpose of causing this apocalypse is. But we won't see it. I don't think yet. We will get a better idea of what Claudia's plan is because we're gonna start to actually see the full plan be formed. Because we've only seen all the Claudia already with. So we're gonna see younger Claudia start to turn into the version of her that create that we probably won't get the creation of this organization. And we we didn't see young Jonas at all this episode. No. So uh, how young Jonas becomes a stranger stepped into the hole and we haven't seen it since and that was episode two. So we want a whole episode where she was like, Where where is Jonas? <laughs> I would guess I think he's going to the cast at some point. Because when we see the stranger, his grief is broken. Okay. Because he's a daisy challenger. So, if it's broken, it's implying that at some point, um, he wasn't able to time travel anymore, so he would have had to have been in the past. And this young Jonas also doesn't even have that grief yet. And he also could have been involved in the creation. My, my bet is is Jonas has gone perhaps really deep in the past. Okay. And he's going to somehow get mixed in with this time frame. Uh, this, ep this season? Or, like, again? I think by, yeah, I think by this season we're going to have a good idea of where exactly he is. Because I don't think we're going to go, I, I'm sure by next episode we're going to know where he lands. Okay. I've been really good at predicting when people will come back. I called the lesbians coming back, right? <laughs> yeah. Literally we, we said were watching it, the and then credits immediately. And it's just like, bam, lesbians. Boom, lesbians. <laughs> and I'm like, ask him, you and tell And lesbians me. doing lesbian things. <laughs> uh, is that what you're asking for next episode, Young Jonas? Young Jonas, uh, let's, yeah. I, I think next episode we're going to see at least where he ended up. Are there any questions that you had from last season that you think will be answered this season? Well, are there any questions that you that are still unanswered from last season? From last season, because we didn't know about Adam. It's this all season. starting to blur together. Yeah, we didn't know about Adam this season. Adam is new. Um, uh, Clausen, the the new. Cop, I mean, the I guess cop. the big question is what what was the end goal of Noah's organization? Okay. Uh, I guess always how the time cult started. Um. So that is all. Those are all questions from last season. We kind of got the answer finally on how that thing got built. How this thing got built? The okay. And we answered how the real the real, <laughs> the real question of the series: How no one got this answered. Whenever you're pitching out a, a potential candidate, just keep in mind what that would be for the entire family tree would be considered. Because <laughs> that could get really fucky really fast. I have a big question to you, uh, whether or not Chanta is the fact that he's his okay. real biological child. Because he mentioned an orphanage. Okay. We, it seems 
just how important that chess can be. Okay. Or Ellie. I mean, we've seen her in the future. So in the future yeah. it, it feels like there's more to her. Seems like she might be the only one that survives. Yeah. That far. I mean, she was reading a book that looked like it was like about... Or it looked like Cycles of the Moon or something. I don't know if that is. That the one scene that we saw her in the past two episodes. Right, right, right. right. Just a younger. Yeah. yeah. Younger was good. So it feels like it feels like she will expand, Elizabeth. Okay. Especially post this apocalypse. So perhaps in the third season, we will start to get a lot more Ellie. Okay. From the, the transition of Ellie into the version of Ellie that we saw in the future. But she spared Jonas's life. We right. didn't talk about that. Correct. Um, I think she spared it because she knew who he is. Yeah. And, uh, well, and just sometimes there's just a predestination thing. Jonas couldn't die because Jonas becomes the stranger. No, yeah, but I, I think, but as, but as I think still, like characters have motivational reasons why they do things right. they do. And I, I think older Ellie is lying to her people, her followers. I think she very much knows that it's all, like, everything that they're being sold is BS about this art that's going to take them to paradise. I think I think she thinks it's BS. And I think that's why she let Jonas go. Okay. Because I think maybe she thinks Jonah, uh, Jonas could possibly change all of it. And that's why she let him go. Okay. Cool. So yeah, last season he only had to worry about three time periods, uh, the, the 50s, the 80s, and the 20 teens, and now you got at least five that you got to worry about. <laughs> so it's actually not that bad. Well, yeah, and this season, like they, they're just like like last season, just because it was so like they're introducing all these characters, they were just very very particular about showing the door and be like 1986 or showing the door and being like 1953 now they're just like going from scene to scene and it's just like yeah you should know that this is 33 but I, I feel like at this point <laughs> now like I can keep that right yeah because, you, because you're familiar with the characters and like you're just like oh that's young Egon as a cop so that means we're in the 50s and yeah you know, like, so. and you know which are the ones who time travel right yeah so like Noah is kind of difficult because he he's pops everywhere, up everywhere, and he always looks the same, with the exception of the one time we saw him as a younger man. Right. But for the most part, so Noah kind of gets confusing. So although it's we always, have seen old Noah, a lot of it always hinges on who Noah is talking to. Although we have seen old Noah with young Noah, and what time was that? That was nineteen twenty-one. Okay, right, nineteen twenty. I mean, we know that that's where young Noah is from is the nineteen twenties because that's when they were digging the hole. I guess we don't know if that scene that we don't know if that scene that's true right so. that's true because time travel <laughs> so although I, I feel like it's typically Noah who's the one who travels to people right it doesn't seem like he ever allows people to come to him. okay so I feel like the likely bet was that was also 1921 and he's giving instructions to his followers every single time period. how did he get to 1921 uh I guess it would have to be the case. Because that thing was really right? Yeah, because those, th those loops only connect the 50s, the 80s, and the 20s. So, it had to be. Well, not anymore. They don't, they're not connected anymore because uh, Stranger Jonas destroyed them. It had to be from the case. Okay. So the case can go farther than, that, than the original loop allowed? Yeah, and I think... I also think... Uh, the difficult thing is, I think that version of Noah might have been after the Noah that just killed body. Okay, so now we're dealing with like Noah. <laughs> you are not always no, seeing Noah. No, Noah A and Noah B yes. that are the same one, but like different times, and they're just telling the story very alienarily. Well, yes, I mean. It is a yes. very alien-ear story. Because if it jumps you back 33 years, and that scene was in 1920, then that Noah would have would have been in, in 1954, which oh. is around this time. But oh, well, maybe yeah, maybe it, it's, it's awesome. but it seemed like that Noah had already 
kind of checked out. Okay. More so than the Noah that we saw talking to Adam. So like this, this, this might be the the turning point that starts getting the questions his way. Yes. Okay. So other iterations of Noah might have already. Gone. Because it's, it's like like when you hear him talking to Helga and all this stuff, he seems very religious. This version of it. But then it's like the stuff he taught, he said to older Helga, seems like a completely different person. Yeah. And it could be this moment could have been the change. Cool. All right. I think that's a good place to kind of end the discussion. Uh, because we're kind of circling the yeah. things and we'd like the show. So. <laughs> uh, until next time. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. That's terrible. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>